Hello, sexy Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, because we're listening for love today. How you doing, baby? These readings are for August 2024, all right? So I hope you're doing fabulous. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Where have you been? We've been waiting for you. We've been looking for you, and we're so glad that you're here, all right? Now, if you're a returning family member, you already know what's up. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. Love you, all right? If you want to have more fun, come on over to Instagram. We go live on Tuesdays or Wednesdays, depending on what time I get off of work. 5.36 p.m. Central Time, Central Standard Time. We're on there. We give away readings. We also have paid readings. So you can get on there, have fun, meet a whole community, and enjoy yourself. All right? Now, that's at Arena Luciano. Now, the way these readings are going to go, we're going to go into a general oracle. We're going to go into a general for love. Then we're going to have singles, couples, and then all signs. All right? Now. Thank you for everybody who checked on me during the hurricane. I truly appreciate it. I, I really appreciate that. It's been a really rough time for us. Um, we're rebuilding currently here in the city of Houston and surrounding areas. So keep us in your prayers, all right? Now, I'm gonna also add my Amazon wish list on there if you wanna give me a birthday gift because it's Leo season, baby, and my birthday is 821, all right? So feel free to go on there. Just feel free to send me a birthday wish. I'm just happy to be turning 44, all right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, the big 44 is finally here. Now, with that being said, let's jump into this reading, okay? So on the 4th of August, we have the new moon in Leo, 12 degrees. 12 comes down to a three, new and exciting things are on the horizon, and your confidence is on fire, okay? You are extremely hot, you're flowing, you're growing, you're feeling really good. Venus also enters into Virgo that day, so there's a lot of beautiful energy coming in for you. You're paying a lot of attention to the details. On the 5th, Mercury retrograde, 4 degrees Virgo. People are coming back from the past. They want answers. They want to close up chapters, and it's okay. So, you know, enjoy yourself. Proceed with caution. Also, be very aware of the messages that you're sending and make sure that you're sending them to the correct person. Then, on the 14th, Mercury says, you know what? F you, Virgo. I'm going to Leo. Let's go celebrate, all right? So it travels back into Leo. And on the 19th, we have the full moon in Aquarius, 27 degrees. I want you to work on your manifestation skills. I want you to see what's coming in. I want you to trust what that full moon is taking out, all right? So with that being said, also on that day, there is a very important um, alignment happening. Jupiter is square Saturn. Jupiter is going to be 17 degrees Gemini and then 17 degrees Pisces. This will also happen again around December 24th. This square is a very important square. This is also a time for you to pay attention to what is getting in the way of what you want, need, and desire. Now, on the 22nd is Virgo season, or should I say post-Leo season, all right? And on the 28th, Mercury will be going direct 21 degrees Leo, okay? So remember, we still are in... Um, the shadow period, so we're still a little shaky on communication and things like that, and our electronics, so proceed with caution. Don't be afraid, baby. Just proceed with caution, all right? Take your time. And Venus enters into Libra on the 29th, all right? So let's get into it. Let's see what we got going on. Oh, I need to keep my notes here. So your rune this month is... Nguaz, okay, you see the little little symbol, all right? And this is about your inner fire, 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 okay, growth, prosperity, harvest, we're growing, we're developing. Now, this is also about relationships with the Mother Earth, growing, fertility, pregnancy, sexuality. You might be more attractive this month, all right? Especially if you have your Venus in Virgo, all right? Because then people will really want a piece of that. Now, with that being said, your animal energy is El Maranito. It is the pig. This is actually a very beautiful energy. This is about self-worth, self-esteem, getting to the root cause of the problem. This is also about abundance, okay? The pig does represent abundance. Think about the piggy bank, all right? Now, this energy is coming through. It's also telling you you can work with the energy of Archangel um, Gabriel and Mary. Now, when we were talking about the Saturn-Jupiter conjunction, the card that came out for you is actually that of serendipity. This conjunction is going to allow you to be at the right place at the right time to move into the right direction where you're supposed to be, baby. You're just going to be mad lucky this month, Sag. That's super exciting. Now, 
The planet that wants to play, baby, the planet that came to play today is that of Uranus, okay? Not Uranus, but Uranus. Uranus is here, the baby. Change it up. Make things especially exciting. When Uranus is in the action, we don't even know what's going to happen. I got pregnant, actually, during a Uranus transit, and... Um, Thanks to Astro Maggi. If you ever want a reading, you need to call Astro Maggi. She's super amazing. Go follow her on Instagram, and she's just the best. That's how I had my daughter. She was going to come no matter what, and she is here. All right, my other little Leo. So Uranus wants to play with you, baby. Now, when it comes to love, the seventh house is going to be all kinds of lit up. I do feel like you're expanding. You're getting to the top of the mountain. You're climbing high. You're getting elevated. You are the biggest prize, all right? Now, someone's got their eye on you. We have the king of keys coming from overseas, baby. There is some energy that is really into you. They see you as something very amazing. There's also going to be recognition at work. You're gonna be recognized either through a promotion, um, maybe given an extra project, but people have their eyes on you, Sag. I got my eyes on you, Sag. I think Sag is super sexy. I love me some Sagittarius energy. So. This is the part of the read where we do a yes or no question. So think of it a yes or no question. Think of two. We're going to pull two cards. Overall energy is the Ten of Pentacles. We are full of blessings, okay? And we are the complete package, okay? So for question number one, it's the sun is out. And I always tell my girls out, sun's out, bun's out. I know my kids get probably so annoyed by me because I just be saying retarded stuff all the time. But anyways, the knave of wands. Everybody wants a piece of that, baby. Everybody wants to see what you got on. So with this energy, I also feel that you're facing your deepest, darkest fears. This is a yes. Go for it, okay? Go for it. For question number two, we have the Ten of Swords. This is going to be a no. And, and the image that I see here is not everybody should know where you live. Not everyone should know what you're about. And not everyone should see what's going on behind your closed doors because they don't have the best of intentions for you. All right? No, you can't come over. No, you can't collect $200. No, no, no. Okay? Now, Let's get into your read, all right? Okay, for my beautiful Sagittarius, let's see. What is the energies that are coming in this month for you? Let's see. What do we have? What do we have for our beautiful Sag? This is a general. We have a let it go, let it go, let it go. Caution. Woo, 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 okay. And earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. So there's something that we need to make room for the new beginning. We were holding on a little too tightly to something. And we need to make space, okay? We need to make space. Make space for me. I want to come over. <laughs> All right, what are we letting go? What are we letting go? We're learning, we're expanding, we're on a new phase. I do think with this retrograde, or not with, yeah, with this Mercury retrograde, you're going to have people from the past resurface. But what, what's different about it this time, what's different is that you've grown and you've developed and you're not, you're not going to fall for it this time. Caution with a poker poker face with someone who has financial issues, also someone who makes you feel less than what you are, and um, someone not really showing you how they feel. Be careful with that. And with the earth sign, we're cutting it out, we're separating, we're stopping that, that pattern, and we are tired of the silent treatment, okay? Like, come on, friend, come on, come on, all right? Oh, if I could pick up these cards. Let's see what we got going on for our general, general. What do we have for our Sagittarius? All right, we got an offer coming in. It's the Page of Cups. We're like, what? This came out of nowhere. To the King of Swords. Okay, communication. Okay, okay. But we have a major decision to make. To the Queen of Swords. Ooh, ooh, we got the King and the Queen. But I want you to see how I'm looking at it. We don't even talk anymore. We're not talking, we're not budging, but we gotta make a damn dirty decision, okay? And what does the Queen of Swords says? I picked the King of Cups. Okay, so we're making a decision on something very quickly. We could be picking a Cancer. All right, so in this situation, what I do see is there is travel. You're making a decision. I do feel communication has been choppy that someone started off maybe, I have two stories here. Someone could have started off as like 
very immature energy, gave you the silent treatment, right? That's that poker face energy. You made a decision to give it right back to them and they leveled up. They're like, you know what? Hey, 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 Sag, I'm sorry. I'm back, okay? Let's take our trip. Let's do what we gotta do. I'm gonna keep my promises. So I feel like what you're doing is you're cutting out the BS, as they say, and you're like, you know what? Two can play that game. And it's not even a game. You're just setting standards and you're sticking by your boundaries and you're not gonna play that game anymore. Very interesting. You're letting go of something that no longer works for you and moving forward to something that does. Love it. Okay, this is for our singles and ready to mingle, okay? What's up with our Sag singles? Sag singles. All right, let's see here. Let's see here. We got I spy with my little eye. Someone got their eye on you. They're watching your social media. I hope they're not watching your house, though, okay? Because remember that Ten of Swords is a... Okay, we didn't let everybody know where we live. Manifest, they're trying to ma they're trying to tell the, the universe they want you. And then Earth sign again, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Oh my gosh, they are just in love with you, okay, Sag? I would be too. All right, let's get a little bit more with that. Let's see what's going on here with the spy card. Someone's got their eye on you. They're doing their research. They like you, okay? They like you, Sag. Um, hmm. True feelings, pretending, gaslighting personality, the mask is being removed. Oh, whoo. All right, Manifest wants you to know new phase, regrowth, and rising from the ashes. Okay, and then the earth sign says this relationship is over, no second chances, what's dead is dead. I don't think the earth sign wants to let you go. Okay, the earth sign is like, wait, I don't know, you know, Mercury retrograde, I'm going to make an excuse, I'm going to try to jump back in the mix, okay, but we're not, we're not playing, we're not playing anymore. Sag said, you are no longer my elite employee, I got to go, all right, so let's see the energy we have here, let's see what we got going on. We have the Eight of Cups. So this is definitely you walking away from something, possibly an earth sign. <laughs> Sun, moon, and rising. I can't wait to do the earth sign, see if you come out on theirs. And then we have, in the center of your read, you're going out with your friends, you're enjoying yourself. Three of Cups. Everybody cup, everybody cup. We ain't got no time for this. We're gonna go out and have fun, okay? And there's that King of Pentacles. He's like, hey, hey, I got my coin. I see your slot. Let's get hot, all right? Let's do this. Let's do it. But what we're releasing is having to pretend to be something that we're no longer. We're cutting that out. What you see is what you get. And we're healing. We're moving forward. You have options. Oh, Sad, you got options, okay? And you have two kings in your read, so you're definitely getting some kind of recognition at work. I also feel um, Aquarius energy is very strong in here. Libra energy is very strong. And, of course, we got that Earth sign. The Earth sign is not letting go, okay? They're like, I want you. What did you do to them? Because they're in love with you. All right, let's look at this Eight of Cups. Let's look here. Remember your dates so far, the 7th, 9th, the 18th, and the 25th. Why are we walking away? What is Sag walking away from? The Hermit. Okay, there's that Earth sign. The Eight of Pentacles. To the Magician. You cut that off. Okay, this is what I see you cutting off here. Um, you could also be seeing the number 888 quite a bit. But you are done with a situation where you feel like you're always watching someone live their best life without you. Okay? You thought... Okay, I thought we were going to build together. I thought we were going to work on this, but we're not. So I'm going to cut that off. And I'm going to go with my friends. I'm going to have a good time with the three of cups. And I'm going to see what else is out there. Because I'm hot fire. I'm the ace of swords, okay? This is hot. I am the world. I am all of that, okay? And I know my worth. I want something that I can have fun with, that I can build an, uh, a foundation with. And I don't think you could have done that with that past, okay? There is a closing of a cycle, and you're moving on, and you're having fun. That Four of Wands is like, we're having fun. We are swinging from the chandeliers over here. I like it, Sag. All right, King of Pentacles with Justice. So this is someone who has very strong words, okay? Like, they really want to be fair. <laughs> Three of Cups. They... I want to say this person saw something you did when you went out, and they were like, I want to come back now. But are they really being sincere? So I do feel like someone is like, hey, I want to talk about what you did when you were out with your friends. Um, but they are also doing stuff behind your back, too. Okay? 
Let me see. Let me let me pull a little oracle on that. What is this five of swords about? Mistakes. I wish I could right my wrongs. Maybe they went out and did something behind your back. I see your side of the story now. Understanding. And I feel unclear about where we stand. And that is with an earth sign possibly, okay? Then I have the chaser and I had seen the runner card earlier. So I want to say like this is someone like, like they don't know what to do to get you. They don't know that what they should have done was when they had you been consistent. That would went a long way. But this person inc consistently made mistakes is what they did, okay? Damn, Sag. So let's go back to this justice. We're releasing it with the sun. Something was brought to the light. Five of cups. You, you, I don't care what you say. I'm not, we're, you can't come back. There's no coming back from it. Whatever they did, it's like you're not going to allow that energy to come through. You're good. You're good. You've healed. You're moving on. Like the mask was removed. You know, it's funny. Last month, uh, Capricorn got the raccoon card and they said they were wearing a mask. So you could have been dealing with a Capricorn. I don't know why I remember that. I think it was just because I called them a trash can man, though. I don't know. I got nothing. So here we have the two of wands. I do think that they're going to want to have a conversation. They want to talk to you about it. But you moved on with the chariot. Like, you're like, no, I'm good. Like, I forgive you, but we don't need to rekindle this. And then I have the hangman. So th there's this energy. Like, I do think that you're going to move on possibly with, like, someone who's more emotionally giving. Okay? More emotionally giving. Because lots of Cancer Scorpio energy there. I mean, Pisces and Cancer there. The King of Swords wants you to know the lovers. Okay. So there's a major decision. The Emperor. What else? What else? And the Empress. Oh, that's beautiful. So this makes me think of divine connection. The Emperor and the Empress coming together. Um, oh, no, that's the High Priestess. Sorry. The Emperor and the High Priestess coming together. I do feel like there is a someone. There's two stories I get. The person that you're releasing puts you in a third party situation. That's that three of cups. They made a mistake. They want to make it right. And they want to be with you, right? But you're done. You've already moved on to someone else because um, it hurt you. It hurt you really bad. I do think that there is a person from the past who is going to, as they say, circle the block. They're very unsure on how you could have moved on so quickly, but I feel like they just did a lot of things behind your back and you're not okay with it. Like you're done and you're finished with that situation. So in this situation that this person wants to come back, they are looking at your social media. They are trying to like drive by and see what you've been up to. They notice that you're looking really good. Um, and there's a possibility that they are trying to rekindle that relationship. So this person from the past, what do they have? What do they, what happened? Give them clues. Soul tie, they feel connected to you, okay? They feel like y'all are inseparable. This is a very toxic relationship and I failed to give you what you need. So this person kind of like was afraid of commitment. They were afraid about that. They didn't know how to do it, but now they're ready. So what would they say to Sag right now? I need to tell you the truth. So there is a confession coming out during this month. I'm on my way to you. Like they're they're like coming full force. I want to make you happy. I miss your smile. Okay, I need to tell you the truth. I've been working on myself. I'm not the same. Prove it. Prove it. Okay. I can't go another day without you. I'm on my way to you. I can't go on without you. And I don't know how to handle my emotions right now. I really do care even though I don't show it. This person's mask is being removed. They were afraid of commitment. They put you in a third party situation. They made you feel very insecure. You're moving forward, you moved on, and you're actually in a much better place. Yes, they are watching. Yes, they are spying. I'm gonna put spy right here so when I'm trying to do the read later, I'll know what to label this. So when it comes to love, who's coming in for um, our beautiful Sagittarius or handsome Sagittarius that is a good match for them? 
what do we have? We have the crossroads. Okay, so we have an individual that could be um, kind of mixed, biracial. They might have highlighted hair. There's something about two tones. You'll see the number 222, strong Libra energy. Then we have Leo energy with the heart. They could have a very chubby face, okay? Um, and like a cute little face, not like the like that, but like they're cute, they got a chubby face, the 22nd and the 24th could be important for you. I also feel like you crossed paths with this individual and you didn't expect to. Like this was like a very unexpected meeting, okay? And then we have the mountain. So they have like a big forehead. This is also Aries energy. They're very stocky, they're very well built, they're a solid individual. Could have gray hair. Okay. Oh, and the 21st, my birthday, ew, okay? And then we have the key showing up. And this is like medium built, Taurus energy, slender energy, all right? And you could be seeing the number 333 just to give you more um, confirmation. So let's get some clues here. What do we have? What do we have here with this crossroads? Bumping into each other. Then we have the web, the web. Okay, they could work for IT. They could also you could also meet them online. Okay, the 22nd and the 23rd, very strong there. For the Leo energy, we have the bomber jacket. And so this is someone who is like makes you feel very safe and secure. There's also something about the way that they dress. You like the way they dress, all right? Or they like the way you dress. And this person has a lot of walls around their heart. Um, they could have recently just got out of a relationship or they're also very much into piercings, okay? And then you could meet them around the new moon, okay? Like right at the beginning of the month, you guys kick it off and you're just like, wow, this is like super cool. I really like this individual. Let's get some letters. What are the letters coming in? Where are the initials? We have E for Eric, Erica. We have A for Ari, it's me, I love Sag, what? Or Adam, okay, then we have C for Carl, Camille, and then we have B, okay? So E, A, C, and B are some of the initials that came out, and then let's see, let's pull from this um, little bag of signs, let's see here, all right. We have here Leo, strong Leos coming in for you, Leos love Sag, Aquarius, all right, and then we have Cancer and Aries. You know what's interesting is I was going to say Aries again because this is the bottom card, right? And so this person is, like, this person can be very um, hairy. This person can also be a very, like, into working out and fitness. They could also be a mother, okay? Just clues, just little blues clues for you this month. Let me know if they help, okay? All right, let's see here. Let's go into your oracle. Let's just give you some oracle guidance. What can help them in love this month? What can help them in love? Being patient, gathering more information, putting yourself out there more, getting out on the World Wide Web, as they say. Pay attention to people who want to offer love, okay? Also, there's something about a legal situation with justice coming out twice and things like that being really fair, okay? Looking for other opportunities, don't just don't be focused on one, like have options, okay? And finding your balance. All right, let's see here. Let's get into our couples. I'm gonna take a break. All right, Sagittarius couples. Sometimes I like to stop it too, so when I timestamp, it's easier. Couples, we got the love spell. Ew, 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 ew. We have moving, moving in, moving on, moving out, and your health could be very important this month, okay? Some of y'all are in a long distance relationship and that is going to be changing. Okay, let's get more clues here. We got the love spell going on. What's this about? What's this love spell for our beautiful Sag? Coffee cup. Meeting, talking, savoring the moment, and building friendship. This also makes me feel of enchantment. Like maybe they do their coffee. Like I like to do abundance rituals in the morning with my coffee with cinnamon and sugar and honey and little other things that I put in my coffee and I speak uh, manifestations into it. So I do want to say this person is very uh, like into you. Like they're very, very into you. Moving, boundaries and hurt, avoiding conversations and still upset. I do think someone is ready to move out or move on, okay? Or maybe they're just not ready to move in. 
And looking at pictures missing you is affecting someone's health. They need to make new memories. So let's see what's going on with your person. What is your person's story right now? What is, whoo. Let's see. The Nine of Pentacles. So this makes me think like your person, Sag. Like they're used to being by themselves. They, they, they're they like very comfortable being by themselves. They give you a lot of space too. Um, they're thinking about you, the King of Wands. They love you. They adore you. See you as a boss. They think you are the world. They think you're amazing, you know? Like they also love the fact that they can be themselves with you. They're ready to travel. They're ready to move in. I think they're ready to move in with you, damn it to hell. But there's something that's getting in the way that's very heavy for them. We'll see what it is. And then they're like, fuck it, I'm going to do it. Page of Wands, let's go for it, okay? I do think that this person could be having some financial issues. I do get a long-distance relationship for some. Or, like, y'all are, like, really wanting to move in closer, okay? Like, there's something about wanting to be closer, be together, things like that, okay? So we got this Nine of Pentacles energy. This is their story. I'm single. I move at my own pace. I like to do things my way. But they love spending time with you with the Three of Cups. The Emperor. They admire everything about you. There's really strong Aries energy around you. And the Star. They love... Okay, this is a story I get. Like, you allow them to be free. You allow them to be them. They allow you to be you. But when y'all come together, it is amazing. And I want to say, like, you have a way of making them feel amazing. I, this is the only word I'm going to use so I don't get kicked out of here. There's an offer on the table, the Knight of Cups. There's something coming in. They're afraid that you will reject it. Okay, they're afraid you're going to reject this offer. And here's the King of Pentacles. You've been all up in this read. So they're afraid that you're gonna off, you're, you're not gonna take this offer because you're such a badass and you're you don't need them, but they want to be around you more. Um, they don't want you on the field, Nine of Pentacles. They don't want you out there. Nine, two nines. They want to move in with you. They want you to move in. So somebody move. Something's gotta change. They don't want you out in those streets. Okay? They're you. They they're like look. And I'm going to tell one of y'all, there's, there's one of y'all watching Satch. Don't be drinking out in them streets, okay? Don't be partying too hard, all right? Make sure that your person feels secure with you. They don't want you to be single. They want you to know that y'all are in a relationship. They're ready to make this official. I dropped too many cards. The Chariot wants you to know the Knight of Swords. I don't think that your person really knows how to say things like... They're blunt. They say things, right? And it just doesn't come out right. Then I have the Empress here, so we do have a divine pair, okay? There's very much a divine pair. They're coming to see you, okay? They want to make this happen. They're like, look, I don't know how to, how we're going to do this. I don't know how it's going to work. We're going to make it work. Ten of Wands, what do you have? What is it that gets in the way? They're afraid you're going to get bored with them. Okay, they're afraid that they're going to be boring to you. You're not going to want them, but they're going to go for it anyways. Okay, they're like, you know, nope, we're going to do it. And then I see you running off and being free. Like, fucking <laughs> four of cups. You need more excitement, four of wands. The ace of wands. Okay, there is a lot of fours in this read, okay? Four, four, four. It's a safe and secure time to love. There's also somebody doing the most. I have the four of pentacles twice. I have the four of wands. I have the four of cups. I have the emperor with the four. I have the death card with 13. That comes to a four. Foundation is important in this relationship. This person is very much in love with you. They would like to marry you and they want to invest in you. Some want to put a baby in you, okay? If that ain't your story, it ain't your story. But for the most part, they love you. They feel like they're the underdog in this relationship with the Seven of Wands, but they're going to make it happen. I do think there's somebody who is in a long-distance relationship, okay? They don't want to miss out on this situation. They're afraid that you're not going to accept their offer. They want to be with you. Sag, your person is madly, deeply in love with you. They're going to do whatever they can to get to you. The song that comes to my head is George Strait. I'm carrying your love with me. West Virginia down to Tennessee. Ow, ow, ow. 
I love me some George, all right? I love me some George straight. This person is wanting to come see you. They want to make this official. They don't want you on the market anymore. There is a big move. There's a lot of things coming through. And they're like, look, we're going to do this. I don't, I don't even know how it's going to work, but we're going to make it work. We're going to make it work. All right? They're ready to make it work. Let's get you some closing messages from the Lenormand. What do they need to know? What do they need to know? Let's see. Let's see. We have the journal. So there's information or a secret possibly coming out to a woman or from a woman who is conniving, okay? There is an enemy around you, an enemy of the state, okay? Close to your home. This person is like trying to find out dirt or something. Oh, they're a motherfucking spy. Sorry, sorry. Well, I'm already banned, so it's okay. Strong Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy with all this watery energy, double Cancer, double Scorpio. Look, there is some information coming from a woman. She's been watching by the house. She's she's making this up. She's a liar, okay? This woman is a liar. She's probably telling you, oh, no, I was with your man or whatever. You know how people be doing that. But anyways, this person is a liar. They're by the house. They're spying. They have the ring, the moon, and the fish. Someone is lying about their commitment to that individual. They're trying to say that that is their partner. It is not their partner. And this story is not for everyone. And there is also somebody who's saying, oh, well, they proposed to me first or they were with me first. Blah, 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 blah. Lies, lies, and more lies. There's also some lies about some finances going on. Okay? Move on to what your partner is saying. This is not your partner. Let me ask with my pendulum. It's not your partner. Is Sagittarius's partner lying to them? No. Okay. Is Sagittarius, um, is somebody spying on Sagittarius? Yes. Okay. Are they trying to get in the relationship, like a third party? Yes. So there's someone trying to attempt to get into this. There's also someone who has a commitment or a contract somewhere else. Okay. And, and your partner isn't lying to you. This partner really wants to move in with you. They're going to take a trip with you. Damn it. They're not letting you go. Okay. You're their emperor or empress. Okay. Let's see here. What is the guiding message for them? Let's see. We have anxiety. You guys are on the fence. Okay. A lot of them being on the fence. But you appreciate this process, you're learning, you're growing, there, there they are, they're so freaking envious of you. There is a friend, a frenemy, that's jealous of you. You're afraid also because like every time you fall in love, Sad, you feel like something negative is going to happen or something always goes wrong. Appreciate that this person wants to invest in you, okay? They appreciate you also. And this person is also, the envious person is jealous of your money. They're jealous of your home. They're jealous of your relationship, okay? And you're going to have to be a little bit strategic and move on from that friend, frenemy, okay? Or family member, whoever the hell they are. Let's get a description. How does this enemy look? Give us, give us a description. How do they look? We have the bouquet. They're very beautiful. They have great hair. They have beautiful skin. Um, what is the sign with that? That is good looking, blonde, light brown hair, beautiful hair, light skin, Sag. It's another Sag. Then we have the Skype. This person has a scar or tattoo probably around their face or their neck. Okay. And this is Scorpio energy. There was a lot of watery energy in there. Um, curvy, slim Scorpio. Okay. And then we have the fish. It's a water sign that's trying to like really be jealous of you. Dark hair, skin, green eyes, blue eyes, Mediterranean looking. So I get dark hair, okay? And then there's one with blonde hair, like very contradicting. Um, they're very petite, small. They have big gums, small teeth. I always think that every time. And I want to say they get very nervous and anxious around you, okay? The date 923 pops to my mind and I don't know why. Anyways. Let's see, this is the part of the read that we're going to go into the signs, okay? All signs. From Aries to Pisces, we're going to go into this and we're going to see what the energies hold for you, okay? Here we go. We've been praying, but someone is neglecting their emotions. Sad. Don't neglect your feelings, okay? Don't neglect them. Be fun. Be free. Have fun, okay? 
Oh my gosh, this card fell out of nowhere. It was right here, right here, the Ace of Wands. And then I have the Knight of Swords reversed. Like, they were just on the table. I don't know where they came from, maybe when I moved the cards. But I have this message for you. This summer, do not engage with anybody with impromptu and rude communication. Just let that go. Like, family, friend, whatever. They, they, can't, they can't play the game no more. They're not allowed. Okay, let's see, are we ready? Yes. Important dates, the 7th, 9th, 18th, 22, 22nd, 24th, 25th, and the number 888. Here you are, v Rao, sexy and looking amazing, ready to start something new. And Aries is uh, a little shaky ground, okay? A little shaky ground. The solution is we've got to make some changes, okay? There's some changes in the foundation. Someone does not feel secure. Communication needs to increase. And you could be seeing the number 444. The, num the 19th could be important. Important. Here you are, ready to take control. You're making decisions. You have dominion over the situation. And Taurus is afraid of that. They're like, whoa, what the hell is Sagittarius doing? And Sag said, you need to take a minute and go sit down. All right, you need to go heal. You need to make sure that you're doing better. Lucky day, the fourth. Okay, here we are. We're feeling a little ungrounded. We're not ready to give in yet with the hangman reversed. And then we have, because we think Gemini has too many red flags. <laughs> We're like, no, Gemini, I'm not giving you my cup of love, okay? I feel emotionally manipulated in this situation. There could be something with a Pisces also that's involved in that situation. The seventh could be important. Here we are. We don't want to talk about it. We don't want to be about it. And Cancer doesn't either. Cancer said, okay, bet that, okay? Nobody's budging in this situation. Nobody wants to be friends. Nobody wants to talk. All right, the 20th could be important. Here you are. You're ready to let it all go. Okay, we're going to get rid of all of this. And somebody is really packing over here, okay? Ten of Wands. And Leo said, I got a wand too, baby. Let's have some fire. So there's like a lot of energy coming in here. We're going to go see our Leo. Okay, there's a trip. There's travel. There's victory. Or Leo is coming to see you, okay? Woo! Set. All right, we have the Eight of Swords here, or the Eight of Arrows. This is a lot of miscommunication, carrying a chip on your shoulder. You feel very restricted in this situation, and Virgo ain't giving it to you. Virgo's like, I don't care. We're not doing this, and if something doesn't change, we're not going to be together. Lucky day, the 20th, okay? Here we are, here we are. We got the lovers. You are the right choice. You are the right one, baby, all right? And... Libra can't make a decision. They don't know. They don't want they don't know if they want to do this or not, but it's going to take some work. You you this is going to take some work together as a team. The fifth could be important. You are not in love. You are not feeling this situation and the other Sagittarius feels very unmotivated here. Solution, we have to become more intimate. Um, somebody feels like this relationship is purely physical and the other one wants more intimacy. The 16th could be important. Here we are <clears throat> at the Six of Pentacles. You're finding balance. You're trying to feel. You need help. Not like in a bad way. You just want some help. That's it. You just want some help. Okay. And Scorpio is Scorpioing. Okay. Scorpio is like, I don't want to be in a relationship. I want to be out here spreading my love seeds. Solution, you're going to find out what they was doing. Okay. You're going to find out, friend. You're going to know. The 19th could be important. And remember, that is the day of the full moon. Damn. Okay, I want to get into it, but we're not. Okay, okay. Here you are. Knight of Wands, get out of my head. You're like, I got boundaries. I'm not going to do this. And Scorpio, after Scorpio, who is it? Sagittarius. Three of Wands. I think I messed up. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We have Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo. I think I said sad. What was that? Virgo. After Virgo is Libra. After Libra is Scorpio. After Scorpio is Sag. Okay, yeah, we did Sag. And then we have here Capricorn. Capricorn wants to make it work. They want to make it work, okay? 
but it's gonna take time it's gonna take patience it's like we've got to move proceed slowly I feel like you have all you're like look cap you better just take a seat back because I ain't ready for all that and caps like no I want to make it happen okay the 17th could be important all right not listening to your spirit guys not listening to your higher self and Aquarius wants to go half on a baby with you all right and we got to figure out our home and our living situation so let's see what's going on here with you why are you not listening and Aquarius is trying to have your baby <laughs> you want to get married you want a higher connection you want this but it's just like at the same time there's a lot of reservations with the hermit and you're just like I don't know I don't know if this is the right decision I do see like a really strong connection coming in the 20th could be important here you are ready to have a baby all right Sag is birthing new things moving forward and Pisces says let's heal let's make it work out let's do this and it's a yes there's a baby coming there's healing coming there's a resurrection baby because the wheel is coming through this is nothing but divine intervention beautiful beautiful energy and your lucky day is the second so I do feel like with this Pisces there is a lot coming to light and um, the relationship is healing and the baby or whatever new thing you're birthing is coming through because y'all are soulmates interesting interesting energy guys i hope you guys had fun i had a blast all right if you're interested in hanging out with me on instagram come on over let's hang out and also don't forget send me some birthday wishes all right be blessed